Alright, I just wanted to do a quick video about the Nephilim. What does the Bible say about the Nephilim? Well, first of all, they're giants. And the Bible does speak about these giants that are described in per basically the Old Testament. Uh, they were the result of angels, sons of God, and daughters of men mating and getting together. And they're producing these abominations that were the giants. And I use the term Nephilim so people know what I'm talking about. Obviously, Nephilim is not a scriptural term. The Bible just calls them giants. But I'm going to be calling them Nephilim just so people know what I'm talking about. So what does the Bible say about these Nephilim, these giants? Genesis chapter 6, verses 2 to 4. How were these giants created? So it says, Genesis, Genesis chapter 6, verse 2 to 4. As the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all of all the, of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also he also is fresh, that his days be a hundred and twenty years. And there were giants in the earth in those days. And, al and also after that, where the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. So, they were giants that were in the earth in those days. Okay? Goliath is an example. Okay, Goliath, I believe, was a descendant of these giants that are described in this verse right here. Genesis chapter 6, verse 2 to 4. And they were the product of angels, sons of gods, coming in bed with daughters of men. They were mating and producing these, these giants. Hence, one of the reasons why God sent the flood was to destroy these giants. They, they were not God's creation. They were an abomination to God. Okay? Some more facts about these giants. Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. Turn to Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. These giants were very, very big. And this is the description of how big they are. Numbers 13, verse 33. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, uh, which, and we were in our sights, in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. So these giants were very, very big, okay? We were grasshoppers in their sight. That's how big they were. Just to give a little, just a, just a idea of how big these giants were. In their sight, we were just little grasshoppers. So they were very, very big. They were not just big humans. They were actually actual giants. More interesting verses about these giants. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. Turn there in your King James Bible. Some more information about these giants. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. And Immans dwelt therein, and times past, a people great, and many, and tall, as the Anakims, uh, which were also accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites would call them Immans. Immans. Okay? So, again, they were very tall. And they were known as Anakims, or as the Moabites would call them, Immans. So these giants had names. Okay, I call them Nephilim, so people know what I'm talking about. But one of the names of these giants were they were compared to the Anakims, but they were called Immans in this particular verse right here. But they were compared to the Anakims, which are obviously very tall individuals. Deuteronomy chapter two, verses twenty to twenty-one. That also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzamums, and, and people great and many and tall as the Anakims, but the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead. So these giants had different names. The Amorites, Ammonites, Ammonites, sorry, called them Zamzamums. Hope I'm saying that word right. You see, there's many uh, ancient, uh, what do they call it? ancient, uh, histories, you could say, ancient uh, antiquities, I'll say it that way, that believe in these giants. Why? Because they actually existed. Ancient Egypt, you know, ancient Greece with the titans and everything like that, uh, they all believe in some form of giant. Even the Native Americans believe in giants too, the Native Americans, Native Canadians, every society believes in giants. Why? Because they actually existed. And there's been skeletons of these giants that have been unearthed too. But you wonder why they're not shown? Because they're covered up by who? the Jesuit ran Illuminati, the Vatican, and the Smithsonian. Why? Because they'll prove the Bible is true, that there were giants in the earth in those days, just like the Bible said, so they want to cover that up, obviously. The final scripture I'll have you turn to, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 11. Turn there into King James Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 11. For only Og, king of Bashan, uh, remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron, 
Uh, is it not Rabbath the cho of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. So just another size description of how big this descendant of the giants were, Og the king of Bashan. So he was a descendant of the giants, and we give a description in this verse here how big he was. Uh, his bed was a bedstead of iron. His, sorry, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. He was a very big individual. So again, the myth that these giants were just simply really tall humans is not scripturally accurate. These giants were, were actual really tall giants that were so big that we were grasshoppers in their sights. And I do believe they were a natural predator to humans. I do believe, because humans are often said to be the top predator, we're the top of the food chain. I do believe these giants would have been our only natural predator. We would have been second highest on the food chain. Uh, again, why did God descend the flood? Because God wanted to destroy these abominations that were created. So just some simple scriptural facts about these giants. These giants are scriptural. Uh, you know, don't believe the lies of the Vatican and the, and the Smithsonian and the Jesuit ran Illuminati. That these giants are just, they're fake, they're, they're, a, they're a hoax. No, these skeletons actually depict actual giants. And Satan doesn't want you to know that because Satan wants to discredit God's word. So don't be deceived and just think about these scriptural facts. It is very good that God got rid of these giants. Because if they were still around today, could you imagine the havoc they would wreak? Or reap? It would it'd be ridiculous. It'd be insane. And it would be a danger to farms and everything like that. It'd be a mess. So thankfully, God got rid of these giants at the flood. And I do believe the spirits of these giants are in hell right now in the chains of darkness described in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 and Jude chapter 1, verse 6. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.